Well, for this drill, you're going to need the sun out because you're going to use your shadow to assist you in checking a couple of things. The tough thing about the golf swing is that what you actually do and what you feel you're doing are normally two different things. One of the big things in a swing is that you want to really check to make sure that you turn and coil correctly so your weight moves into your right side so you get behind the ball. Now, with the aid of the sun, get it behind your back. Make sure with your shadow in front of you, place a ball approximately in the middle of your chest out here. So now we can actually use that ball as a reference. Now what we see in many cases is a player, as they swing back, they really wouldn't move back behind that ball. So the key being is as you turn back is to really get the ball almost to the left side or opposite your back. Now I can actually see that I'm behind it even if your head moves a little bit. Don't worry about that. Too many people try to keep their head too still. So get turned behind it in this fashion here. For those seniors who find it difficult to turn like that, here's a little tip. Just point your right foot out a little bit, like so, and that will really help you to get your right side out of the way because if you can get behind the ball, you can then get through it. The problem when people stay dead still, and you can see that in the shadow here, it's very difficult to get through and you normally you'll fall back off it. For good players, we see very often as they swing back, their hips actually slide almost towards the target. So they tilt, they reverse tilt as we term it. So the fact is now, although their upper body is turned behind it, their lower body is going towards the target. So it's very, very useful to have the shadow here to assist you because you know you can actually watch your shadow almost as you're hitting the ball. So get behind the ball, use that shadow to assist you. And I think you'll find you'll see some differences because it's almost like having another pair of eyes or a, a mirror in front of you. Obviously, you can't have a mirror the whole time, but the fact is with the shadow there, it really does the same purpose. So let's see how we do. So I'm going to try to watch it almost in my peripheral vision to make sure that I get behind it. Well, that felt pretty good. And if I can keep watching the shadow, now instead of shadow boxing, it'll be shadow golfing. So try it.